what's happening uh, in terms of uh, earnings uh, suntech realty that stock is uh, holding on to good bit of gains almost two percent higher now and we're being joined by kamal khetan cmd of suntech realty to run us through uh, the numbers uh, Kamal, thanks so much for speaking with us. I have my colleague uh, Hiral joining me on this conversation. I want to start by talking about uh, how this quarter has been has been a little mixed. Your sales have jumped over 28%. Uh, your EBITDA, meanwhile, also coming in at about uh, 7.6 crores versus a loss. Um, and uh, your PAT, however, has come in a little lower. Just give us a sense of uh, how this quarter has been. Yeah, good morning, Sunanda, and good morning, Hiral, everybody. Uh, so we have done a good sales. If you see, looking at the corresponding quarter, uh, 100, uh, this year we have done a, this quarter we have done a sales of 128 crore versus 103 crores last uh, corresponding last fiscal. And you have to observe that we follow a project completion method. So the, the more relevant are the operational number than the P and L right now. So the PNL just shows the uh, incomes which are mainly from the rental assets, and the main numbers obviously will uh, uh, comes when the project is completed. So this operational number, if you see, sales uh, has grown by 24%. Although there has been a slight reduction in the collection from uh, uh, in this quarter, corresponding quarter, that is 98 crore versus the last quarter, the 131 crore. That has been due to uh, the milestone which we are supposed to achieve in this quarter has got spilled over to the next quarter. Uh, that is one of the reasons, but that you will see the, uh, the similar, uh, there will be a growth in the next quarter. Uh, the collections the, because of this spilling over to uh, of the collection to the next quarter and as you rightly said the habitat margin uh, although it's insignificant but it's if you see it's grown to 35 percent versus 30 percent last this uh, quarter of the uh, last fiscal hi mr kamal now as we read the fine print we see that your finance cost has inched up in this quarter so does this mean that your debt levels have also increased what number are you working with in terms of where the first quarter goes yeah so if you see that the in fact the debt uh, there is a negligible debt in fact in the suntex balance sheet and balance sheet is very small and there is a debt only on the five projects out of the 24 projects today what we are running and there is a net secure debt of only 600 uh, close to 650 crore which is quite negligible looking at our cash flows there is advance received of like 2374 crores and uh, which is unrecognized in the which is lying in the balance sheet on the liability side and the balance receivable which we are looking to achieve in next four quarters three to four quarters is itself from the sold inventory itself is 1158 crores and if you see looking at uh, the estimated inventory on, on in the ongoing projects what we have is 5137 crores and if you see 30 there are 13 ongoing projects out of which almost five projects are completed and we are looking forward to complete in fact one big project signia isle in bkc and from where we look forward to get a, a top line of almost close to 800 to 900 crore so looking at this robust numbers and the cash flows, I think the debt is negligible and doesn't bother us. It has gone slightly, the interest, uh, the finance cost has gone slightly up, uh, but you'll see in the coming quarter, which will come drastically down. It is also because we are trying to pump in more and more uh, into the construction and we are trying to complete the project. Sure. Uh, and also at the same time, we are doing uh, some good acquisitions, which we are going to uh, reveal coming uh, 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 coming for, 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 for forward. Okay. Uh, speaking of those acquisitions, you know, reports are suggesting that you could possibly be looking at buying over the distressed assets, uh, you know, of uh, some of your peers in the industry. Uh, can you clarify that for us? You know, how large possibly uh, would some of these uh, acquisitions be? So for us, uh, the large would be, we'll always look at the bottom line or the top line won't be important. We've all, all, always, if you see a Suntech, uh, Suntech always trend has been to uh, maximize on, uh, on the return on the equity and with a minimal capital investment and work on the project with the near term cash flows. So, the, so we are looking at definitely a distress assets and uh, with a Suntech brand and the JVJD model. We would like, we, I would, we will reveal it, uh, uh, very soon, but I would not like to comment right now at this stage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Mr. Atul, in terms of uh, Kamal, uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Kamal, as per what demand goes, as per what our channel checks suggest, that the, you know, analysts are expecting the prices in Mumbai at least to come down lower by at least another 50%. 
So what is your view there and how are you expecting the demand to pan out in terms of where Mumbai goes? So if you see, uh, there is very important two things which you have to understand in the real estate which is going on. Obviously, there is a, a, a slowdown de definitely in Bombay in, in terms of sales. But if you see our numbers, we have uh, our, we have grown our sales by 24%. Two important factors which plays are, one is the projects has to be in the completed stage and the developers should have a financial strength to complete the project and the micro market within Mumbai. So if you see all these three things are in our favor, the micro market in Mumbai where we are operating is Bandrakulla complex and Goregaon, which we feel is one of the most robust market uh, in the Mumbai, the western suburbs and the PKC market, which sure. is doing very well and which is outperforming the other market. And the financial strength people today in the market knows that Suntech has the financial capability to complete the project. Sure. So uh, put, putting all these three things into the picture, if you see all these three point key factors, we will in fact continue to grow our sales and you will see the similar growth numbers in coming quarters as well. All right. Uh Thanks for joining us for that, uh, Kamal. That's uh, uh, Suntech Realty is up about 1.6% in trade as we speak. Let's very quickly connect with uh, Lancelot Dikuna who's joining us with some of the strategies that he has on his radar. Lancelot, thanks for speaking with us. Uh, you have a Crompton Greaves as a strategy going today. What do you recommend there? Well, uh, it's not really a daily strategy, but more uh, a longer term. Okay. term.